Hello YouTubers, this is Alan B. Me. Today I'm going to demonstrate the latest Linux Mint offering. Linux Mint LXDE or Lightweight X Desktop Environment uh, version 9 Isadora. And LXDE is a desktop environment which is suited for older machines with less CPU power, less memory, less hard disk space uh, is perfect for the net older netbooks such as my EEE PC 900A. So I'm now I'm booting it off the my thumb drive. I have it on a one gig thumb drive and I'm booting it off of that. And the first part of this video is going to show you the boot. Get an idea about the speed running off the for the uh, thumb drive. And then the second part of the video, I'm going to use GTK record my desktop to show you some of the other features of it. Okay. Mind you, this is running off of a slow thumb drive. It'll be much faster coming off the standard 4 gig SSD drive. So there you have it. Here's the Linux Mint desktop. You recognize the green theme. And I'm not going to install it right now because I'm not sure if the wireless works. So here we are. We have the GTK Record My Desktop running. I'm going to show you a few of the features of Linux Mint LXDE desktop environment. I was really disappointed that they didn't have the standard uh, Linux Mint menu that was made with uh, Python and takes advantage of the GNOME uh, clutter and, and the compositing effects but of course that defeats the purpose of having a lightweight desktop that will work on older machines, older graphic cards. But we look here at some of the standard panel items uh, identical to my Lubuntu setup. Calendar, volume, already have 22 updates here. As you can see they're mostly standard Ubuntu updates. The Mint install of course is um, an innovation by the Linux Mint people. Uh, of course let's record my desktop. Here's my network connection. I don't have a wireless in my home so I, I can't test that. But I'm running off my wired uh, Ethernet connection. Uh, and here's my battery storage. I got uh, two hours and 15 minutes left on a standard Ubuntu, standard EE PC battery. And this is sort of like the uh, show my desktop icon that you see on some other distributions. You click this and all the applications are open minim minimized. The file manager is uh, PC Man FM, a pretty good lightweight manager much faster than uh, Nautilus or Dolphin. Uh, I want to do a little stress test of it here. This is a dump from my camera and it has 582 images so we're going to see how fast I can get thumbnails. But while it's doing this I'm going to look around some more. And again you have the standard uh, LXDE uh, panel here or menu application launcher. Um, we don't have the Linux Mint launcher which is pretty cool. I like it. I wish I had it. But I don't want it bad enough to make my system heavier and less capable on this machine. Here accessories we got of course the file manager. S same setup in Lubuntu except for this thing says this uh, file uploader. And at first I didn't know what this was um, except it put something on my panel. So right clicked it to see what it was and it turns out to be an FTP program. But you wouldn't know it. I still don't know what it is. I click new. What is the upload service? Uploading what? You know, but now I recognize it. I've seen this before. Uh, I personally use GFTP or FileZilla. 
Uh, here's the image viewer. Uh, I'm back to my file manager. Uh, still haven't got my uh, thumbnails yet. Here's the terminal, and here's the editor, leaf pad, and a uh, print job manager. On the graphics, they have the GIMP. It's, on the Lubuntu, they have something called MT Paint, which is a nice, simple paint program. But I, I always install the GIMP anyway because I want to be able to do, to be as flexible, have all the tools available available to me possi as possible. Uh, with just MT Paint, I would have to have other uh, drawing and imaging programs available. On the internet, well, excuse me, we have uh, the Chestnut Dollar for those who have dial-up internet access with old modems. Go ahead and close this down. They also have Firefox. On the Lubuntu, they have uh, Chrome as the default browser, but Linux Mint chose to put Firefox back in. Uh, in some cases, Firefox nowadays is a little leaner, a little meaner, a little faster than Chrome, uh, older versions of Chrome. Thun Thunderbird is the email manager, Pigeon Internet Messenger, uh, Transmission for BitTorrents, uh, XChat for RSC, and a network browser. Pi neighborhood. On the office, there's no open office, but we do have Abbey Word, a numeric, uh, Osmo, which is a calendaring tax and contacts uh, program. I've never used this, but I might want to give it a try. Still, no thumbnails. Well, not all of them. Uh, open box session. On the sound and video, we have a, a CD ripper, a webcam uh, program, Exhale, which is a, a media player on the order of Amarok or Rhythmbox or Banshee. Uh, we also have Gnome Awesome Mixer, a GUI version. Um, we have uh, Gnome Media Player and VLC. Uh, so you have some choice of media players there. Um, you have XF Burn from the XFCE desktop. Uh, under System Tools, you have a system profile to give you a little information about your machine and all the amount of memory. Under System Tools, also you have the XFCE uh, Task Manager, which is a lot less CPU hungry than the system monitor that you find under GNOME or KDE. Nice, simple, tells you what you immediately need to know and gives you a way to kill applications if you need to. As you can see I'll hear the software manager. I like Synaptic. Every now and then I drop to the command line but sometimes it's nice to be able to categorize uh, all my thumbnails are not up yet. Still waiting. My overall impression is XFCE uh, is meant to be a lightweight desktop, but the versions of it you see with Linux, Mint, and Ubuntu actually are pretty uh, heavy, require a lot of horsepower, a lot of memory. Here you see on the preferences uh, standard programs I mean, that you would see. You have a few extra ones, uh, but nothing really unique. My overall impressions is that uh, Linux Mint LXDE is a good choice. It's just a fancy version of Lubuntu, however. Uh, Linux Mint themes on top of Lubuntu, they did the heavy lifting. 